Hey YouTube, it's me again, and this is my lovely sister, Dominique. She's 17, but she about to go to a party tonight because she actually has friends in a social life, unlike me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to be doing her makeup. Warning now, this is probably going to be a long periodically video because I'm doing start to finish. She just got out of the shower, she just washed her face, so... It's going to be start to finish, me doing makeup on my sister. So let's get started. My sister has normal skin, so she doesn't really get too oily. And she said tonight that she wants to be glowy, so we're going to do that for her. So first, I'm going to start with priming her face with the Maybelline <clears throat> Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Bum, bum, bum. I feel strange having my hand like on the top of your head. <laughs> and I'm like trying not to like block the video. Should I stand back here? <laughs> you're, you're very nice little face massage. Oops, I am. You're here. <laughs> She's already naturally beautiful. Look at this flawless young skin. Look at this. Oh man, if I had skin like this, I would never wear makeup. Okay. Oh, okay. You might hear some thunder and lightning in the background, featuring thunder and lightning. It's about to storm, so <clears throat> hopefully this video doesn't get cut off or anything. So on my sister, she likes to have her face match her chest, so. Let me see how this blends into her chest. Yeah, that blends out really well. So, for her, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. Because, like I said, she likes to have her face match her chest. Where, for me, I like to have my face match my body in the summertime. Move up a little bit. So, I think that should be plenty for her. I did basically two pumps and then put it all over. Again, that's the Maybelline Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation in the color 95 Coconut. And to blend her out today, let's see what brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics 117 brush. I have never used this before, so hopefully it works. I always feel like I'm blocking the camera. <coughs> Try not to with my head. But normally I use sponges on Dominique's skin. Just because I prefer to use a sponge to blend out my foundation. But I know that she normally uses a brush when she does her own makeup. And I'm going to take a little bit from up there. This is actually a really good color match for Dominique. It's good. Mm -hmm. Actually, nicely. And I also like this because since she has normal skin, I probably won't even really need to set this on her. And also since she wants a more glowy look, I don't even think I'm going to need to set this on her. But because she is going to a party, look up please. Because she is going to a party, um, I'm going to do more of like full coverage on her. So I'm going to go in with a couple more pumps just to make sure that we cover up all her imperfections. You know, this did a pretty good job because she doesn't really have much. So, you all saw her skin. She's got that beautiful, young, naturally clear skin. So, take some more on my finger and just go where I think needs just a little bit more coverage, mostly just around the perimeter. Up her lip, but I already have the look in my mind what I'm gonna do on her for tonight. So I'm in here. There you go. So I gotta get underneath this nose and on the side. But I really like this brush for blending out foundation so far. I 
Y'all know I'm a sucker for skin. I know I have to have my base be flawless and perfect before I can move on. So this is really what takes me the longest is the skin part. Because that needs to be perfect. Because I'm a sticker, stickler for good, clear, nice skin. I'm going to come this side now. Focus on this side. Gotta make sure it's well blended. Dominique knows I'm like a blending freak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I always like get on her about her blending around the hairline and the jaw. Because that's how you can tell somebody has on makeup. I also use this foundation because it's going to look like it's her skin. As you guys can see, I'll probably have her like get closer so she can show you. Mm -hmm. This foundation looks like your skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. Look up, chin up. Get under here. All right, I'm almost done. You know I gotta have this right. Okay. I'm all done. You can get closer if you want so you can show them. It looks like it's her skin, like she just has perfect skin. That's why I really like this foundation. Look how she, she just looks flawless, <laughs> naturally. See, that's what I want for her because she's so young. We don't need her looking like, you know, two cake face out here. So that's it for foundation. Like I said, I'm probably not going to set her because she has normal skin. And this is probably, um, it dries to like a satiny kind of finish. So yeah, I'm not going to set it. What I am going to do is go in and do a little bit of powder, highlight, and contour on her. So let me get a new wedge for her. I'm not going to use the one I use on my face. So I'm getting a cosmetic wedge. <coughs> Keep track of everything I've used. Hmm. And she likes a little bit of a brighter kind of highlight and contour. So what I'm going to use on her, or I mean highlight rather. So what I'm going to use on her is this CoverGirl Queen Professional Loose Powder in Translucent, Translucent, Translucent Honey. And it is a very beautiful, like golden shimmery powder. It's just very messy. So actually I'm going to use the puff to apply this under her eyes. Look up. And I'm going to apply it rather heavily so you will see some fallout. I'm basically just going to apply this in the places that we're going to highlight, like I said. This is really, really messy. I'm just telling you, I it's a loose powder. But I need to get some more out, so I just took some out over top of the toilet. And for extra highlight, I'm actually going to go over this powder with something else, too. So this is going to be a start for her highlight. And whatever's left on here, I'm just going to pat in the center of her head, above her lip, and on the chin. And this powder does have um, glitter in it. So this will help add to the glowiness and shimmeriness of her look but not in a negative way. Right now she looks cray cray, but trust mm -hmm. me, it will come together. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Where is that? With a little bit of my Black Rated Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Creamy Bronze Finish. And I'm going to use the flat top brush I used in my tutorial earlier today to pack a little bit of this underneath as well. Look up. This is going to add just a little bit more coverage under here and help highlight as well. She doesn't really have dark circles. She's too young for all that. But um, I didn't really apply too much foundation underneath her eyes because Dominique does have like sensitive eyes. So I didn't want to get too close to her eyes with the foundation and I know that I can get a little bit closer with like a powder brush than a liquid. I'm trying to get like right under there. Yeah, there we go. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm also using this color because the undertone looks really, really good on 
my skin, so I figured it would look really good on Dominique's skin, even though Dominique is a little bit more red, neutral than I am. I'm a little bit more yellow undertone. It doesn't look like it on camera right now because I'm so far away, but I think this will really complement her skin. Like I said, I'm still over the same areas that I highlighted. This will also help tone down what's underneath for when I blend everything off. Now we're going to go ahead and contour Dominique. And for that, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics 113 brush. And I'm going to use one of her favorite things that I contour with, which is where it at goes. If I can find it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm smacking my gum too. Here it is. The Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Pressed Powder. And Dominic already has a natural contour, turn sideways, like head down this way, look just look forward and then turn like that. There you go. You can already see that she actually has a natural indent in her cheek. So I'm just going to emphasize that just a little bit. You don't have to stay there now. You can go back to your regular sitting position. <laughs> I'm literally placing it where it naturally falls. And I'm making sure to blend it out really well. And at the very end, you guys know I like to buff all over the entire face. So if it's not super well blended right now, it will be because y'all know I don't leave the skin looking any sort of way. And we're just going to do a little bit on her head. Dominique prefers to be more highlighted than contoured on her face. Like, she likes to have just her cheekbones done. But when it comes to the rest of the face, she doesn't like to be um, contoured too, too, too much because she doesn't like to look too, 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 too dark, which is understandable. Especially since she wants her face to match her chest. I'm not going to do too, too, too much contouring. I know, I'm like in the strangest places. I'm sure you've never seen anybody do someone's makeup from like above and behind. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a makeup artist, by the way. This is just something I do for fun, you know. And I enjoy doing other people's makeup. I do enjoy doing my sister's makeup because, you know, she's my sister. And if I can help her be on fleek, she represents for the whole family. <laughs> so <laughs> we ain't going to let her leave any sort of way. There you go. I'm doing the jawline. Just a little bit. I forgot to reverse contour her cheekbones, so to make that sound even more, I'm gonna use an even, um, ooh, my eye. I'm gonna use the same Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder to do that real quick, and I'll use the Cosmetic Wedge for that. So I'm just gonna rub it in here. And if you tilt your head like this, there you go, so I can see. I'm just going to go right underneath the contour area. This is really going to make that contour pop. And a good guideline for this is to go from right underneath the edge of the bottom of your ear. That's kind of how you know where your contour should stop. You don't really want it to go past that because then it can make you look like you have a beard, or it just gets a little too dark on the bottom half of the face. So from the edge of the bottom of the ear is a good place to stop. And you see that's going to really help that contour pop, especially after I've worn everything out. So I'm going to let all this powder that's on my face now, right now bake, and I'm going to go on to her brows and her eyes. So she going to stay looking like crusty and glittery and, <laughs> <laughs> and all that for right now. And we'll come back and get that right at the very end. So we're going to go on to brows. And I'm just going to use the same two brow pencils that I use on myself. And I'm going to start with the black one first. 
And for this, you guys may not be able to see all the way because brows are really important for the face. I am going to go ahead and blend out her um, her forehead because I'm about to do her brows and I don't want to go back and blend off this extra powder and mess up her um, brows. So I am going to just dust that off and blend out the forehead a little bit just so that I don't have to mess it up after I do the brows. So adjusting off the excess powder. Gonna go in and do the brows. And like I said, I'm using the black one first. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencils. And this one is in Black Ops. My sister likes um, more of a dramatic, fuller, arched brow than I like on myself. We both have relatively thin brows, as you can see. I mean, I haven't filled them in that much. But, um, and you can feel free to tell me if it's too dark or too whatever when I'm done dominating. Because when I do other people's makeup, I like to make sure that they like it. And like I said, yeah, I like my brows to follow my natural hair to be on the thinner side because I have thin brows, but Dominic likes hers to be a little more thick and arched. So at first I kind of like to just make what's there a little darker and then I go in with the brown and start to make them thicker and how she likes them so they're not too 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 dark and if they are too too dark I just go over with a little powder to lighten them up. So this is the same pencil, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil except this one is in the color Brunettes Do It Better. Hope you guys can hear me. Brunettes Do It Better. I'm probably blocky. It's okay. You don't see me do my brows this all the time, so using the same method. Awkward move when you realize one brow goes lower than the other one. Sorry, I can't really see this, but sometimes you can't see the exact symmetry from that angle. Look at them. What do you think? Um. I don't know, y'all know how picky I am about my own makeup. I don't know, what, thing, what do you think needs to be different about it? Um, the top being more dramatic? On this one? Yeah. This one's good, I like yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. This one always looks better <laughs> okay. than this one. So you think that we need to just like emphasize the arch a little bit? Mm -hmm. No, I did and they change it a little bit. It's crazy. I think the tail can be a little longer too, just a little bit. Not better? Mm -hmm. All right, see this video's about to be freaking long. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But they already know my videos are usually long. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, oh. go to the eyes. And I already knew that today I wanted to use a combination of my Dark Rose palette. 
<laughs> and my Missy Lynn palette on Dominique today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a great picture for the video. I wanted to use the dark rose palette because it has some very nice rosy colors in it. And so, for her lid, I'm going to use this right here. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> but she's wearing pink, so I want to give her some nice pink eyes to emphasize that. And she also has just really pretty eyes, so I'm going in with that color I just showed you. On a fluffy brush closely. And I'm patting it on because it is glittery. And I don't want too, too, too much fallout, even though I do have that powder baking underneath her eyes to catch any fallout. Still want to prevent, prevent that fallout from happening if I can. Like I said, she has sensitive eyes, so sometimes she may like pull her head back and whatnot, and that's because her eyes are getting a little too sensitive, not because I'm hurting her or anything like that, which has happened on accident before. But I try not to hurt her because I love her. But sometimes beauty is pain. <laughs> Your skin looks so good. And we're going to focus this color on the lid area, as you can see. And you want to make sure that you get pretty much the entire lid covered in this nice pink color. And this is from the Dark Rose palette. And I'm not sweeping on because I want the color payoff to be there, you know. I don't want to wipe it off, so I'm just like packing it on, patting it gently onto her lid. And you're stopping right at the crease. All right, so that's the first color. Now we're gonna start a little bit of crease work. Make the crease work. <laughs> Make the crease work, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> and to blend out her crease, I'm gonna use this color right here, which is like that mauve brownie color I used in my chit chat, get ready with me. And Dominic has a little bit smaller eyes than I do, so I have to be careful not to take any of the colors up too, too, too far in her crease. And this is on the matte side, and it also has like a little bit of a purpley undertone to it. So I'm focusing this on the top of her crease. This is going to be our first kind of like transition crease color. may not show up on camera, that's okay. But I'm about to go to the Missy Lynn palette and use something else for the crease. But I really like this shadow because I have a little bit of purple to it, so it really looks pretty with the pink for the crease. All right, so that's how that's looking so far. Switching gears, going over to the Missy Lynn palette. Just like this. I'm now going to wipe off the same brush, which is from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to take this brown color right here to deepen up the outermost part of the crease. And I'm also going to use my cosmetic wedge right on the corner of her eye so that we get a nice sharp point on the outermost part. And I'm using this because I can press down and it won't hurt her because it is a soft object. Hmm, for some odd reason, I thought this would come off a little bit darker of a brown, but it's not really coming off too, too, too dark. So I may have to use something else. I'm also taking this right above that purple color to help blend it out as well. 
It's adding a little bit of depth, not too, too, too much. Because so. Dominic doesn't like super dark, smoky eyes, and I agree that that's kind of a little beyond her age, because she's only 17 still. About to be 18, I know she might say something about that. She's about to be 18, <laughs> the last day of August. So I try not to make her look too, too, too grown. But not having the crease colors be too dark, you know, kind of keep it on the lighter side. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner. And for that, I'm actually going to use this pinky highlight color, which I'm also going to use on her face to highlight the inner corner. And to do that, I'm going to use this brush from Coastal Sense, so just like a pointed brush. And again, I'm using the highlight shade right here, this one. It's more pinky. And this is just going to look really, really bring out her eyes. And it's super, super pretty. I'm putting that all in this general area. And while her eyes are closed, I'm trying to take it just a little bit onto the inner portion of her bottom lash line. They can answer it. Yeah, you can talk. It's okay. Well, it's our mom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sharice is here. Okay. What was I saying? You didn't show up? Yeah. Okay. About how long? Okay. Bye. I think he said about 10 minutes and he wants me to turn off the spin clips. Okay. In 10 minutes? Oh gosh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Our parents are going to be home in 10 minutes and they have stuff for us to do. All right, so. I'm not going to do anything on her bottom lash line today, except for maybe um, a little bit of black. She likes black eyeliner. So I'll just do a little bit of black on the bottom lash line, and we're going to do a wing liner. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up her face. So when we do come back, I may have to sew these two sections together because we have to leave soon to go do some things to come back. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff out the rest of her face. And I'm buffing in circular motions, and I'm going over everything when I do this so that everything can blend together seamlessly, but this just knocks off any extra powder that's on the skin. And it also helps to blend everything together so that you don't have any lines of demarcation. And I wasn't planning to do any um, blush on her because she doesn't really like blush that much so I'm just going to do a little bit of the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer which she really loves that product on her skin she really likes the way that it looks on her and how it makes her look and that's usually what I use as like blush on her is the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer which I just saw not too long ago and now it has to disappear oh there it is Governor Cover Girl Queen Ebony Brown Sponsor. And I'm using my Coastal Scents 114 brush. And we're just gonna place this on the cheeks. Just to give her a little color smile. Right on the apples. Just adds a little bit of color and warmth to the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just hit the door thing. Alright. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna press it on up here as well. 
I really want to for it. Alrighty. Last but not least, for the face, I'm going to go under her eyes, look up, and just sweep off any other powder and smooth out any creasing that may have occurred. Even though I didn't put too, too, too much product under her eyes. And also, I'm going to go ahead and just contour her nose since we're here right now and we got to go like now. And what I'm going to use to contour her nose is my Black Radiance Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. I didn't want to use the contour that I used on her cheeks because it is rather dark and we don't want her nose to look funny. And the brush I'm going to use is the BH Cosmetics 121. What? Oh, I was like, that's not even the powder. I was like, why is this close? Mm -hmm. This one. Milk Chocolate Finish. BH Cosmetics Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And then we have to go do some stuff. And then we'll be back and I'll finish the rest of her face. Which all she has left now is... We need to do eyeliner, wing eyeliner and bottom lash line eyeliner, highlighter for her face so she can be glowy, and lips, if I'm not mistaken. And mascara, did I say that? Eyeliner, mascara, highlighter, and lips. And then she'll be done. I'm also going to highlight her brow bone stuff later. But that will be... The second half of this when we come back after uh, going out into the rain. So as of right now, I'm just contouring her nose ever so lightly. And I'm going to highlight the center. I know she likes her nose so much over time. I like the center. If I can ever find all my stuff, I like to do that. Here. Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're here now. Okay, so we're gonna highlight the center for notes, and I'm using my L'Oreal Pro Infallible powder in 700 classic tan. And I'm using the same brush, not going to wipe it off or anything, but I'm just going to stick this right down the center of her nose. And when we come back, we'll blend everything out and do those four things I just said. Lips, eyeliner, mascara, and highlighter. So this is just to make the group stand out a little bit more. Alrighty, we'll be back. We've got to go do some stuff. We're back after me running outside in the rain and almost hitting my pants in my car and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> Anyways, we weren't gone for that long. Okay, back to the face. About to work on eyeliner. If I can find my eyeliners, I have so many. This needs to be sharpened. Um, okay. That's a liquid liner. <laughs> this is bad, right? Oh, that's a lip liner. Okay, I might just use the same liner I use on her brows for her... Ooh, that's a spoolie. For her bottom lash line. So I'm just using the black pencil that I used on her brows for underneath. So if you just look up. And because her eyes are so sensitive, I'm just going to blow this out with some shadow to get the color payoff because it's not going to look too nice. So now I'm going to take my e.l.f. small precision brush if I can find it. And my can of brushes. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to take doo -doo -doo, this sparkly black shadow right here. And I'm just going to smudge some of this onto her bottom left line just a little bit. Look up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, 
this is a black, glittery black, so perfect for a party. Like Sam revealed that somebody has really sensitive eyes. They have to take breaks a lot. The other eye's done. Just need to finish up this bottom one. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I'm get right in here. Okay, we're finished. Now the bottom lash line is done. Now we're going to do the top wing liner. Do you want to highlight? Do you want to highlight or do wing liner? Wing liner. Okay. We're going to do wing liner and then we'll highlight and then lips. Which I'm thinking about what I'm looking at your lips as I do this. And I already have the highlighter I'm going to use like you. From the Missyland Palette. Alright. Wing eyeliner. My sister likes dramatic wings. That's one of her things. She likes dramatic brows and dramatic wings. So. Start on the outside. Then we slowly draw to the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and line both her eyes and then go back to the actual wing part. Just close. Not too tight. So open. So that's what it looked like if I just lined it and didn't do a wing. That's how our eyes would look. So now we're going to go back in and do the wings. So I'm going to start at the very outer corner of her eye. Oh gosh. And extend up and out. Turn up your head that way. No, I'm going to like, like this. There. Keep straight though. There we go. And I like to do this so that she can see how far it's going and tell me if that's far enough. And then I draw it back a little bit. Oh, you blinked. And they come out interesting now. And I can always clean it up. She knows I always clean up my mistakes. Because it's not as precise as I want it to be. The bottom got a little messed up. But then when she blinked, I overshot a little bit. That's basically just to see how far out she wants it. I have her chill her head. So look back straight on. So yeah, I'll fix it up and make it sharper. Not as fleeky for Dominique. I just kind of like to get the darkness and the shape, and I'm going to go back and clean up the bottom so that it is sharp. Sharp. Because her wings need to be so sharp that they could kill a man. So, let's see if I can do this one without having to go back and do that. Sharp enough. Alright. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay. The thing about this liquid liner, this is the Elf Monado liquid liner by the way, is getting the darkness to be consistent across the entire wing liner. Like especially the wing part, because some parts are darker, it comes out kind of patchy. Try not to blink, please. Thank you. Oh gosh, not cry. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes water easily. Yeah. There. Okay. 
will go back and do the inner corner highlight later. <laughs> That's the only thing about this liner I don't like is that sometimes it's hard to get it to be black black for the whole thing. Okay, so that one came out pointed and nice. But you see this one's a little too fat on the bottom, so I forgot to clean that up. You see how it's all fat and not the sharp? And you see how this one is sharp, goes straight out, bam. This one's ah. So to do that, what I like to do is use some concealer. And I'm gonna use, what color do I use? I have so many. I'm gonna use some LA Girl concealer and a beautiful bronze to fix it. I wish this were cooperating with me because it's not. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it's still a little bit thicker than the other side, but it's more sharp and precise. So what I'll do is just go back to the other side and make it match. Dominic knows I do not leave stuff like <laughs> not. It has to be basically perfect. I'm just going to blow this concealer out just a little bit so it's not obvious, but I had to fix this one. So we're going to go to the other side. We're going to get this right. <laughs> this is about to be a long video. Y'all are good. Okay. There we go. Turn my like, doodle. Yeah, yeah. So it's not perfect, perfect, but it's a little bit better. Is that good, Dominique? Mm -hmm. You like it? Uh -huh. Okay. So she likes it. I'm not going to do mascara on camera because y'all know what mascara looks like. We're just going to go to highlighter and lips and be done with this video. So it won't be over 50 minutes. We're trying to keep it under 50 minutes. So it will be. Oh, right here. Let's go to highlight, and like I said, I'm going to be using the Missy Lynn palette. I'm going to be using this nice big domed brush, and it is the 115 from BH Cosmetics. I'm really going to go here over to uh, Missy Lynn, and we're going to use the highlighter I used to highlight her inner tear duct, which I need to redo, I just remember. Let's do that real quick before I forget. On this eye, we have some tears over here. No tears in heaven, no stars. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're done. Okay, I like Okay. Okay, so her ear corners are highlighting. What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, she's looking at the mirror. Oh, I was like, what is she looking at? <laughs> and now we're just going to do. Use that same highlighter on your cheeks. That's my shower, just so you know. <laughs> I was like, what? I was cleaning earlier, so sometimes it continues to drip a little while after. And I'm applying this very generously to the high points of her cheekbones. You can actually see a streak of highlighter right now. Like, <laughs> should it turn? And you know homegirls are going and blend that out. So I like to place and then blend, which Dominique uses and say all the time. I'm also going to do down yeah, the middle of her nose and right on the tip. This helps to lift the nose. And that's going to give her that nice glow. 
And we're going to do her chin. And one of my favorite spots is the cupid throw. It looks really pretty once you have your lipstick on. So now we're going to go in and blend all this out. I'm actually going to wipe whatever highlighter is left on here off. I have a little towel that I'm using to wipe my brushes off on. And now I'm just going to go in and use this side of the brush. Turn your head this way. You don't have to move your mouth and your mouth. And we're just going to go in and blend out this highlighter. And with whatever's left over, I'm going to take right in here under the brow. I forgot to highlight the brows. Now we're going to take above the brow. So I'm kind of just blending it. Turn back that way. Let's move your head around a little bit. Like, just, you know, serve a little bit. There we go. So you can see the highlight now that it's blended. It's not as in your face. But highlight! <laughs> it's almost like she's blind. Come over here. Again, take it over, look over, go over here. I might just use my finger and go under the brows and stuff. Turn that way. There you go. Perfect. See, contour is kind of, you have the highlight. It's all nice and blended together. And you can see how. She's got a little bit of darkness around the edges and it's highlighted in the middle, which is what she also likes. All right, so going back into that Mesa One palette, taking that highlighter, I've got to highlight these brows, which will also help with them a little more. And I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just grabbing my finger and highlighter. Cha. Cha. As you see, I just put two dots right now, <laughs> but I got one job. And we're gonna do Another dot right above here. When I was left over, I just wiped on my leg because I do weird things like that. And the brush I use to blend out her nose, I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend out the highlighted areas. Because it's nice and small. And it fits really nice under the brow. All right. So that's it for her highlighting. I'm going to show you glow. And as she gets, you know, as her oils come through and stuff, you'll be able to see the glow even more. And because it's going to be a party, there's going to be a lot of people there. I'm sure that she's going to sweat and perspire a little bit. And that will just make her look even more glow than how she looks right now. So we're going on to the lips. We're going to do kind of like <laughs> a Kylie Jenner look. If I can find the looks that I want. Yeah, she has a lot of lipsticks. Yeah, they seen my basket before. <laughs> okay, I already know. Where's my tiramisu lip gloss? If I don't have tiramisu. I want to use Tell them a little bit about yourself while I'm searching for this lipstick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found it. I'm using Wet and Wild in the flesh. It's a nude. I look cray cray as I don't all get out right now. <laughs> Open her shadow. <laughs> okay. Are your lips too dry? Are they dry? Okay. I'll give you some chapstick first. This is um some dark chocolate peppermint lip gloss. I love this stuff. Or chapstick. It's on my finger. It tastes good and it smells really good. You can ramble like other mom. So they're not as dry. Ooh, no, you got some crack you got some mm, crust is coming off your lips. That looks good. I do too. Okay, we're gonna pretend like her lips aren't that crusty. I'm gonna apply mm -hmm. some of this. Rub your lips together. Mm. 
So again, this is Lit and Wild in the Flesh, lipstick in 912C. I'm gonna go over the top of it with some Black Radiance Perfect Tone Lip Gloss and I don't know what color. Mix this all together, please. But it's like the perfect, like, nude for Dominic's skin. It's not too, too pink, it's not too brown. It's kind of like her lips, but better. I didn't want to do a bold lip because we want it to be all about her eyes and her skin. Just make sure that it's, you know, playing her kind of like, oh, 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 so that completes this look. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be an hour long. Bruh. But yeah, serve for the need to get closer. Do what you do. What you do. You get closer, show them the finished look. Look down for them. This is without mascara, by the way. So she's going to put on her own mascara because, like, she has some of the divides in the water, and I don't want to mess up what I've already done. Oh, yes. Yes, work it. Yes. <laughs> Well, this concludes my video of me doing my younger sister's makeup. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And we'll see you in maybe Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Together, I mean. All right. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs> you want to blow a kiss with me? Mm.